been involved in professional baseball for a long time and have really enjoyed the journey. And obviously the journey with Dalton and the rest of our family has continued this process. So we're excited about what he's learned through this whole process uh, to get to the major leagues and hopefully be a sustainable part and being a, uh, a producer and a really terrific human being on top of it at the major league level. One of the challenges of being in player development, uh, whether you're a coach or a manager or a strength coach, trainer, is obviously when you have a family trying to keep the family unit together. I was very lucky with the Phillies during that time where uh, we had pulled our children out of Wisconsin to go to spring training and they actually went to school down in Clearwater. They got chances to be down there all the time and we're talking about shaking fly balls, uh, being around the field, being around the clubhouse. Being able to be around those guys and uh, it was pretty cool just like growing up. I mean I didn't I didn't think anything of it and just being a little kid running around the clubhouse and guys just grabbing me and uh, you know just playing around as a five-year-old kid, just doing my thing and just being me. When you have young children around the clubhouse, it also makes the players accountable. And I think that was a great asset for me because now they have to be appropriate young men, not just in the clubhouse, being able to do what they want to do sometimes. So it was a give and take a little bit, but it was just the, the best experience I've ever could have had to raising kids. He's been around that big league atmosphere in, in a very intense way. Don't get me wrong, he had himself a blast by raiding the refrigerator and squirting whipped cream in his mouth in between innings. And being around those people, um, have, it really helped him understand that this is really what, one of his goals, this is what he wanted to do, this is he was willing to put in the work. When he started his journey, the, the wow factor, unlike me, um, you know, I just dreamed of guys who I had with baseball cards. You know, watch game of the week, and you know, next thing you know, you know, I, I, I was a little starstruck and playing against the best in the world, and he was around them at, at one point before. So I think this really helped him grow and develop, and not have knowing that you know someday he, he's going to be there, but I'm not going to be awed by the the arena and the players around me. I've been around; he's been around really great players. Starstruck. It really didn't really happen for me since growing up in it. So I think that was kind of the biggest thing is like, I could kind of just step in and be who I am and uh, trust that everything was going to be fine from, from day one. You know, because we've been together a whole lot, like I said, started in the batting cage and as a little guy and, you know, and, and the journey keeps going and the learning keeps processing. And, you know, and, and again, we're at the big league level trying to make adjustments. So it's a really neat for me to be able to still be part of that. He's, he's probably my best hitting coach. I mean, he's uh, been there for our, every step of the way and kind of helped me out. So I still take a lot of advice from him and uh, I'm very grateful for that. He has more gifts than I was ever given and strength and strength is the number one. He's able to do things that I, I, I couldn't do. And he's always been able to do that since a little boy. He's been able to, I call it, if he just bumps the ball with his barrel, something special happens. He's able to backspin the ball. The ball has better carry. I think he sees a lot of the humbleness and and the effort in his game that he sees in mine. So I think being able to do that and kind of represent his name, I think that's pretty cool.